What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the Sorceress main playthrough. And we need to speak with the villager managing the Altanova Arena. Well, well, well. Look if it ain't the rising star of the arena. Looking for another match? Let's see if, you, if we have an opponent for you. Huh? Schultz? Of course I remember him. Man was built like an ox. Could probably have crushed you like a louse. But he ain't here no more. Was murdered at the inn over a woman. Great loss. Not just anyone can go in here. Yeah, we don't need him anymore. Yeah, well, do I have to accept the quest from him? Yeah, we do. It's a real shame Schultz was a valiant man and so easy to talk to. We remember him as a king of the arena, but he also commanded the slows and soldiers. All this talk of him, man. I miss that beautiful pox-ridden, scarred face of his. He was done over at the Altanova Inn. That's all I know. Go to the inn if you want to find out more, and be sure to raise a glass of Schultz while you're there. All right, so we need to speak to Miriam. Which was my, well, maybe like my second favorite teacher that I ever had in school. She was like my first grade, she was my first grade teacher. No. Yeah, she, yeah, she was my first grade teacher, I think. Miriam. Welcome to the Lamp Light Inn. This street may seem a bit shady, but it's not that dangerous. Schultz, he was a devious man, but he was a lot of fun. Schultz was the type who never stood by if he saw an injustice being done. He saved my skin a few times from drunkards. I actually really liked him. I still wonder how he felt about me. Never never mind that. Oh, she had a little crush on Schultz. Uh, when I saw him collapse between the barrels, I thought he was just drunk again. I didn't think it'd be the last time I ever saw him. I later heard... Uh, the traces of poison was found in his tankard. Everyone blamed me and Brahmin, but I was the one most devastated by his death. I <laughs> am sorry. I just think about it still makes me cry. I speak to our cook, Broman. He also has a lot of fond memories of Schultz. Welcome to the Lamplight Inn in Alta Nova. Um. All right. Welcome. Hmm. Are you looking for something specific, Schultz? It's been a while since it all happened. I don't know the full details. It all happened while we were closing up that day. Schultz bounded in very late, laughing loudly and clearly in a good mood. He ordered a tankard of Median rice wine, and although we had already served last orders, Miriam got him his drink. I was cleaning up for the night and went back, went out back to throw something out. When I came back inside, Schultz was already dead. You don't suspect me, d d do you? Me and Miriam are innocent, but no one believes us. They've stopped coming to the inn. We're closed to ruin. Uh, so now I need to search for clues. What do you have for sale? I'll help. Ooh, look at that $100,000 high quality wine. What does this get? A favorite among nobles. A Balanos traditional cooking utensil. Alright, I'll buy this. Whatever. I'll help you guys out. I bought something. Alright, um... These chairs are used by the guests. Look closely. Looks like a normal chair you would find it. Okay. Did Schultz used to sit here? Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Okay. There are pieces of broken wood barrel on the floor. The wood barrel cracks loudly and starts to wobble as if it is about to break down completely. The barrel doesn't look that old. A huge force seems to have caused it to break. The sacks contain wheat that is used to produce wine. Okay. Old book. Let's see here. The cover says traveling all over the land, and there's a pick. Okay. You look the book, and the area underneath the book is dust-free. It seems like the book was left on the table for a while. It might not have been anything to do with Fultz, who only recently visited Altanova. I don't have a bajillion energy, so I'm gonna need to figure. <laughs> gonna need to figure this out soon. Alcohol display. There are five different wines on display. Eh. Second shelf is completely empty. It doesn't seem to be in use. 
There's a lot of dust piled up. Um... I already interacted with that. I don't think there'd be anything way out here. Can I talk to them again? Despite no. the street corner's atmosphere, it's not that dangerous. Well, I'm not seeing it now. Guess we can talk to these, see if these villagers. Nope, you don't have anything to say. How about you? You got anything to say? Nope. We already looked at the chair. We already looking at the broken barrels. We already looked at the old book. We already looked at the alcohol display stand. Well, I am... I am slightly confused. I guess we can go up on the roof. I don't really think it's up here, but we can check. Well, maybe we can't get up there. Got it. Oh, look, that's blocked off. Okay, well. Hum, humana, 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 humana. How about you? Do you have anything to say? Something you need? Though I guess it's pretty obvious why you came to see me. I can give you as many quests as you like. Oh, okay. You're not what I needed. Old book. Well, this is, this is tragic. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Ask about Schultz's personality. Schultz was a very magnanimous giant. He could also be quite aggressive at times, but that doesn't mean he was a bad person. Just passionate. He could be very blunt at times and always spoke his mind. If It often caused a lot of trouble with the other customers. He was hard on everybody, but even harder on himself. If you ever had the chance to meet him, you'd realize that he was actually, uh, wasn't that bad of a guy. All right, me and Miriam both got on well with Schultz. Nobody else saw as oft saw him as often as we did. Schultz was especially fond of the wine Miriam made. Don't suspect us in his murder, do you? I don't know, you keep asking me that question. It makes it very weird. Uh, how was he that day? He was just like he was any other day. There, was, there wasn't anything different. Hmm, I can't really recall anything else from that day. What he used to be like. Schultz loved a good drink, or 12. He was always keen to try out uh, our latest wines. He drank alcohol as if it were water, but I've never seen him drunk. Really, that's all the clues you can give me? Wow, I got a whole, like, one clue from him. After losing my husband, I did nothing but look for him. Hmm. Well, I'm like, I'm thoroughly confused on what the heck we're supposed to do here. Have you met Ed Edmund? He's the best cook in Alta Nova and happens to be my turn brother. Three days of darkness changes a lot of things. Well, I, uh have reached a impasse of I don't know what the heck to do. I mean, I'm running out of energy to interact. That's the issue, because I interacted with all this crap over here. I mean, there's still four things I have to search for. Does it give me any more hints, then? You must interact with objects in order to a new button will pop up once requirements are met. 
I did interact with. I interacted with the four things in the inn. There's nothing else to interact with. Save in the wine bottle. Here we go. There we go. The lower half of the cork has crumbled away. It looks like this bottle has already been opened. Nice. Okay. All right, how about the chair? There we go. Lift the chair up. There are scratch marks all over the floor where the chair legs are. It looks like a heavy weight forced the chair back. Did the poison cause Schultz to convulse before he died? There we go. Carefully examine the wooden barrel. The barrel doesn't look that old. A huge force seems to have caused it to break. Based on the scratch marks on the floor made by the chair, it looks like Schultz collapsed while in extreme amount of pain. Is that liquid inside the barrel? There's a mysterious green liquid inside the barrel. Is this linked to Schultz's death? Boom! Finally. That was way too confusing. That's right, he was drinking the wine from that barrel before he died. Interesting. I filled a bottle of wine from this barrel. Please, you have to uncover the truth and clear our names. We've lost nearly all our customers. Maybe you could speak with Nalapal? He seems quite the knowledgeable about poison. I've asked him about them before. Alright. Can I back out of this? There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay, auto pat. Auto pat. What is happening? There we go. Okay. Hello, general goods friend. Do you need poisons? No. Oh, what's that? Hmm, so this is the poison that killed Schultz. How interesting. Although I sell curative poisons, I also do have a mild interest in poisons. Now let's see here. Green coloring, viscous consistency, bitter aroma, no doubt about it. This is a stone hole spider venom. Stone hole spiders inhabit the Sausen region. Their venom is quite corrosive, so it's normally difficult to handle. I suspect the alcohol it was mixed with has diluted it somewhat. I have heard that the assassins from the Southern region have a special method of extracting it, but it's a well-kept secret. I'm not playing with you. All right. Well, actually, you go ahead I know I'm. I know I'm taking a loss money-wise by selling this stuff here, but I just want it out of my inventory. There we go. Because it's uh, it's heavy and it's in the way. It did give us a little bit of money. I mean. Do we have two of these Lynch family things now? I'm just gonna sell these books now. Um, that's probably good. We got that money sent to storage, which actually, was it sent to storage, storage, or like, it's not sent to my central market, so I gotta go get this, because I'll forget it's there. I really will forget that it's there. Is that... Whoa, that's a cool... Eh, actually, the more I look at it, it's not that cool. It looks really cool from the back. Okay. Alright, Debbie. Need to... Well, do I have any currency to exchange with you? I don't think I do. No. Okay, um... Can I get my one mil out? Thank you. Alright, back to Neruda Shen. Back to our good friend Neruda. Oh, I completed World of Knowledge. Where is that? Hold on. I think it's up. Is this a Black Spirit quest? Yeah. Uh, is there an end in knowledge? We're going to learn about this world inside and out. Is there a world of knowledge too? So reach 100 energy. Okay. Pick that up. Alright, we can continue. What'd that even give us? I don't even think that gave us any. Uh, uh, oh, it gave us two gold bars. Really, right after I leave the right after I leave okay but we did get two gold bars so that's 200 grand 
Should probably not be carrying 1.4 million on me, but that's all right. Ooh, look, we got some more grade one reform stones. Nice. So I have 10 of those. I don't think I need to buy any more of those. I want to buy more of these, but I need to cancel them all out and repurchase, I think, because they're all overpriced for what this is, so I don't think it's allowing me to buy. But I keep forgetting to do that. Because now you can see they're all way lower price, and so I probably just need to redo them. And the Blackstones sell like crazy. Alright, Naruda. Based on what you have told me, it would seem that Schultz was likely murdered by one of his own men. I fear this may be, have been the case, since many of Schultz's men enjoy the life of plundering, and they probably have no desire to return to a strict military routine. Many people consider them to be unscrupulous as the barbarians. For the sake of Medea, we cannot allow them to continue this life of banditry. Go to Sama outpost and monitor their progress. A lot of money has gone into fortifying that outpost for Sarma and her knights. She must be preparing to fight the thousands. Medea is strong. Okay, time to go meet Sarma Amin, which I like Sarma Amin a lot more than Naruda Shen. So if I, if choice comes to shove, I'm siding with her over Naruda. Won't, won't even be close. Where is she at? She is way out here. She is way out at, way out in the boonies. So we can, uh, we can take a look at a couple of things. Um, what's the first? There was, oh, I wanted to look. We only have one contribution point. All right, that's fine. I wanted to, let's let this recharge and then start sprinting again. Okay, let's go central market. First, let me, I think it was, I need another pair of earrings, right? Yeah. Yeah, I need a pair of earrings that does better damage. Okay, accessory earrings. Um, okay, so a, the bear's earring, if I could get a better version of that, which I can't really. It's still only plus three. None of these are up. It's only two. That's four. The blue coral earrings. I mean, it's just a one increase, but I might as well do it, I guess. Mestro. For 45 million, I could get to six. I do have the eight million, barely. Um, witch's earrings. Probably want to just do witch's earrings. Because it increases by two every time. There is a one billion dollar witch's earrings up with plus 13. Hmm. I guess I could inc double increase it. I could get rid of the defensive earrings here of the Rydell and improve that. I could probably improve, improve my attack by like 10. I could have like 112, 182 or something like that. Which still isn't the greatest, but it, it's something I guess. What other... See, it's tough. I could increase this, but 63-67 is pretty good in comparison to a lot of this stuff. What is a set bonus on this? It doesn't have a set bonus. Um, I'm not going to get better rings for a decent price, so it's going to have to be a better belt. Better belt or better... Yeah, that's a really good necklace. Better belt... Pretty much is it. Alright. Accessories. Belt. See, but the belt's got in... What? It's got to increase it by, like, 7 for it to be worth it to me, which I don't... It's kind of tough. Yeah, it's just not worth it. The talisman... For 21 million, it would increase it. Yeah. Talisman's probably where I need to go, but it's just tough. Plus 15 is not much better. Yeah, it's just. Some of these just aren't worth it. 
11 it's like 11 18 is that really worth the the price to upgrade plus 15 yeah see there's not that much better it's it's tough and i'm just not at the point where i'm wanting to min max so it's kind of like whatever for some of this stuff I mean, obviously, we're going to get into the min-maxi stuff later, but, like, right now, I'm not, like, super heavy in the min-maxing my character, so it's like, yeah, whatever. Two increase is, like, just feels like trash. How far are we? Yeah, we're getting there. Let's check the Pearl Shop. This is going up the day I'm recording it, so do we got anything new here? Um... No. Oh, we have White Zebra. Hold on. I guess I'm Sorceress. Oh, we got White Zebra underwear. That's that's the new that's the new thing that I haven't seen yet. Woo. I should get some. I got to buy more pearls if I want to do it, but I should probably get some underwear because I think they give bonuses. Um yeah, that gives plus one luck. What is the zebra? Luck. I mean, it's kind of worth it. They give luck and stuff. But we'll, we'll mess with that later. I don't need to buy the underwear now. Uh, they're going to get me to buy another Lars Arcean on my Ranger at this point. Because when I start my Ranger... I'm trying to put off starting my ranger because I I want to wait for I want to wait for it to what am I trying to say I want it to I want to start it with like a new outfit but they haven't released a new outfit in like a week and a half the Lars Arcean stuff was a while ago, I think, because I've been looking at it for a while. It might be close to two weeks at this point. I don't know. I've always been the proponent of, you know, while your game is hot and there's people playing it and they want to spend money, you should probably release a lot of content. Because not that this game's going to die, but people are going to stop playing it. I mean, that's just how games work. They come out brand new and then people stop playing. So my point has always been, like, get that content out and and people will play people will keep playing and keep spending money but you got to keep releasing content early in the game you can't wait forever all right sarda amin does it seem like the fort is too big for our current forces i'm just not sure what naruto shed is up to anymore we needed the fo a fort to fight the thousands, but I didn't want it named after me. I trust that Naruto wishes to rebuild Medea, but his loyalty to the crown prince still remains in question. We don't have time to ponder this, however. The thousands are becoming more and more powerful with each passing day, and the threat needs to be addressed. Even with this fort, it will be difficult to fight. Yennefer, please help us. Our force is very small. We need to assess the thousand strength. Could you please join the vanguard? Yes, I can. All right, we need to go defeat 30 thousands. So we'll go, we'll go defeat some thousands and then we'll call it an episode. Depending, hopefully they're not like some crazy difficult. Where are the thousands? Ooh, they have, oh my gosh, they have their own like castle. Oh boy. All right, you know what? They're in their own like castle over here i think it's probably a good point to call the episode here and wait for the next episode to invade the castle so no this was a heavy dialogue episode but that's what we're getting here we're getting a little bit we're getting the story laid on thick before the ending so i hope you guys enjoyed drop it a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace